Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's fall decorate with me. Today we are decorating my dining room and my coffee bar. You guys are getting a little sneak peek behind me but I'm really excited to share with you guys how it turned out. If you guys missed decorating the living room, I definitely suggest going and watching that video first. I absolutely love how the living room turned out and of course I wanted to tie the dining room into the living room using the same colors incorporating textures and just to truly create that fall essence with all those moody colors that i absolutely love so again if you haven't watched that video i will go ahead and link it down below in the description box as well as my master bedroom and decorate with me in case you guys want to see it as well but anyways, like I said, I'm excited to show you guys how I decorated this area of my house. As always, if you guys enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I do have another decorating video coming up, which will be my kitchen. And of course, we'll do some very yummy fall baking in that video. So you don't want to miss out on it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the decorating. As always, I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope this brings you so much decorating inspiration. Okay friends, and we are gonna start off by decorating my coffee bar. As always, I always get asked where this shelf is from and my husband made this for me. I absolutely love it so much. It's just the perfect addition to this wall and this corner of my home and I truly love decorating it every season. For fall this year, I really wanted to challenge myself and not use a big piece of painting or artwork like I usually do. I actually moved that to my bedroom this year so I would not be tempted. So let me tell you guys that I actually did struggle to come up with some type of vignette for my coffee bar shelf this time but ultimately I love how it turned out. I used a lot of the same colors I used in my living room, especially that olive green color. I incorporated some black and of course some texture through florals and wicker and so on. You guys will see in just a bit, but I'm just starting off by decorating the center of it so that that way I could build off of it. Driving down Nashville back road Sun is setting here in Forest Hill. Time is moving fast these days. We slow down to catch a breath. Take me home where the whiskey hits right. I always love using napkins or dishcloths to raise a certain item so I just put down this napkin and I am layering a pumpkin on top of it I love these pumpkins they are from Target last year but they did bring them back this year and then again just to tie in those same colors I'm using these olive green candles in the black candlesticks I absolutely love that I went with colored candlesticks this year usually I stick with white ones or like yellow waxy colored ones for fall but this year I love this olive green one and then I also used a mauve toned one in my living room but anyways that's besides the point I'm just gonna go ahead and finish adding some smaller details to either side of this shelf
And here we go again using some dish cloths to raise an item I will be putting up in just a bit and then just filling up that empty space with some of the bigger pieces before I go in with smaller detailed decorations. But I really love these cake stands. I love the glass on top of the wooden texture the stand offers. It just warms up the space but it still keeps it clean enough in my opinion with the glass and i really do like overall how these items all work together And like I said, I'm just going in with some smaller items just to fill up some space. So I added these mushrooms to this little cake stand. And then I'm adding this cute little pumpkin on top of the dish cloths. And that is basically it for this side. Now we'll move on to the other side and add in those small details like I said. So this little espresso shot holder, another little pumpkin, and then another... Um, couple of bowls with some mushrooms inside of them again just really small details but it ultimately just finishes up the space And now it's time to decorate the pegs on this shelf and as always I'm just using an array of pot holders, um, kitchen towels and just different little knickknacks and some mugs. So I actually did end up returning the green hearth and hand mugs that I had purchased this year because they just didn't look good. I felt like I needed something darker or something black to really tie in the black i'm using throughout my home so i ended up finding some hearth and hand ones that are just a plain black material they're beautiful i think they still look really good and i think these will function good for like everyday mugs after the holidays so i'm just adding those and then finally just a cute little wooden spoon and that is it for the shelf And now on top of my lockers, I'm just adding my canisters with flour, sugar, and coffee. I got a comment saying that they didn't like these lockers and I want to say I partially agree. I wish I had something different. The goal plan is actually to have our kitchen extended all the way to this corner but for now these lockers serve a really good purpose and I'm gonna keep them here. I think they look good maybe not my 100% preference but they work and they're gonna stay here until we're able to remodel the kitchen but anyways for my dining room table, I'm just adding this table runner. This table runner is old, friends. I want to say it's at least four years old. It's from the Hearth and Hand line at Target from their fall collection a few years back. And then on top, I'm just layering this wooden like stand or... I don't know what to call it cutting board i don't know but on top of it i added this black vase this is actually the vase i had on here for summer that was like a creamy color but i just spray painted it black or satin black because every single week i went to hobby lobby to buy a new black vase i was missing the sale i don't know what was going on in my brain 
pregnancy brain maybe but I was not about to spend $60 on a vase when I could get it half off so ultimately I just ended up painting the one I had on my table and I think it came out really good I'm adding the a floral stems in here as well added a candlestick with some yellow wax candles and I just love the combination I love how it works off of the coffee bar shelf and then as you guys will see towards the end I do add one final piece that really does pull the colors together I'm stretching past all And as always, you guys know that I like to set up my dining table like if we are ready to have dinner. But this time I went with a we're ready to have coffee set up. So on the other side, I put a cute little cream and sugar container with some spoons and on this side I'm just adding some napkins with some really cute mugs on top again just getting ready for coffee feeling to add that cozy touch and lastly I'm adding this cute little picture frame to this wall between my bedroom door and like our French doors. I've never added anything here, but I really felt like it tied in the yellow and black that I added here in the dining room since I didn't really use these colors in the living room. But again, it just works out. It ties everything together. And here is an overlook at how everything turned out. Riding out the Stronger now Used to toss me about I'm wiser now Feel the tide come in Know the feeling now Used to lose my ground I'm wiser now Alrighty friends, well that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys loved it. I hope this gave you some inspiration. As always, that is always my goal is to just inspire you guys to create a space you love, using items you love, and just sticking to your own vision and what you like and what brings you happiness. So I hope I was able to accomplish that today. I am honestly so in love with the way everything is turning out and I'm excited to keep sharing with you guys. So as always, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys here for my next one. Bye!